Hello class, my name is Bethlehem Bayeta. I decided to present on Lucy or Australopithecus Afarnes because it was discovered on my hometown Ethiopia and my home country Ethiopia and it's on display uh, only a few miles away from where I grew up, uh, where, when I grew up and let me start to explain about Australopithecus. Australopithecus means southern ape and it was originally developed from a species found in South Africa. It's a group name and many related species share uh, this name. The Australopithecus were a group of human ancestors that lived between uh, that lived between about one and four million years ago during early Polynesian and Polystesian era. It was found at many sites in Eastern and Southern Africa. These species were bipeds or habits, uh, but also a brawl adaption. They varied in size and strength with some species being smaller and more docile, and other species large and more robust. As a group, the Australopithecus generally had much smaller cranial capacity and body size than modern human with small uh, canyon, large premolars and large molars. The later Australopithecus have notably large face, jaws and teeth. In, in Ethiopia, there is a region called the Far. This is where some of the first Australopithecus fossils were found. The region is where a furnace got as a name in a far Ethiopia. It's generally considered uh, that Australopithecus afarnes was a direct ancestor of humans. In addition to being a direct ancestor of late species of Australopithecus and all subsequent species in uh, Paratomes gens. Oh, sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> Australopithecus afarnes, which lived 3.6 to 3 million years ago in Eastern Africa, Ethiopia. A furnace has relatively small cranial capacity, around 350 to 500, uh, around 300, uh, 350 to 500 cubic centimeters, like modern non-human apes. Other features, they have appeared to be transitional characteristics between champs and modern humans. For example, the faces were flat than chimpanzee, but also tended to produce more wear, more like a human. Their canyon teeth were large in compassion to human canyons, but smaller than those of a chimpanzee's. Australopithecus afarnes had many similarities to Australopithecus anemones, which suggests they shared an ancestor. However, in some features, Australopithecus afarnes appeared to be less primitive than Australopithecus anemones. For example, the caps of its lower premolars were relatively equal in size, the upper toes, rose, and arc. We know, for example, that these Australopithecus had angles, uh, femurs. They also had cleavlets that were short and broad. Also, not as bold shaped as the polyvalence of humans. In addition, some footprints indicate Australopithecus afarnes had slightly divergent big toes and arc feet. Australopithecus afarnes lower body features indicate it was bipedal. Features of its upper body, such as long forms of curved finger, saw the future associated with a brawl locomotion. Lucy was discovered in 1974 by Donald Johnson in Hadar Afar in Ethiopia region. She was nicknamed Lucy after the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamond. Lucy was a full grown adult female. She was only about 110 centimeters, where, uh, centimeters or 3.6 feet. Male fossils of the same species are estimated to have been as much as 
uh, 4.5 or 5 feet tall. The level of sexual dimorphism or difference between sexes found in Australopithecus afarensis is um, similar to the chimpanzees or gorillas. Today, Lucy is one of the most famous well-known fossil ever reported. Some researchers suggest that Australopithecus afarensis might have polygons social structure, meaning that uh, only male had many female partners. However, the other researchers suggest that there might have been less male to male competition due to smaller canyons. And unlike modern apps, because of this contradictory evidence, it's hard to it's uh, it's hard for the researcher to determine that the social structure of our distance relatives. I had a chance to see Lucy when I was in Ethiopia. So that's more make me interested when I talk to Lucy. And thank you for listening to me. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I got a little bit nervous because it's my first video, uh, my first YouTube video. Thank you guys.